Hi everyone, I'm Christina Kiley and I work for G Healthcare. So G Healthcare manufactures medical diagnostic equipment such as CT scanners. We also develop the technology for medical imaging, information technologies, medical diagnostics, as well as patient monitoring systems and digital solutions to improve healthcare outcomes for patients. So today I will walk you through my engineering journey. I was born in the UK, but I'm originally from sunny Cyprus, where I grew up from the age of six and is where I studied. As a child, I enjoyed playing with Lego, doing arts and crafts, puzzles, cross-stitching, and anything that would give me the opportunity to be creative, from making decorations with twigs I could find in the garden, to using some tinsel to complete mine and my younger brother's Christmas outfit. I enjoyed riding my bike and playing outside with my teddy bears. Did I always know I wanted to be an engineer? Definitely not. But my favourite lessons in high school were maths, physics and biology. And at some point, I even wanted to be a dentist. But what did really ignite my interest in engineering? It was actually from an opportunity I had to attend one of the first ever STEM events for girls in Cyprus, where I was able to build and program a robot, while also listened to a very inspiring career journey talk from a lady that was then the Dean of the University of Cyprus with a background of computer science. And this is how I started navigating my engineering journey. Exam time arrived, results were out, and I had successfully obtained a position at the University of Cyprus in the Department of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, as well as a position at a university in Greece to study civil engineering. And then comes the dilemma. What do I do? Where do I go? I remember attending the induction day at the Department of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, not knowing what to expect. Professors were running through presentations about their departments and their work and what we would be learning from fluid dynamics, robotics, laser applications, material science, thermodynamics, energy systems to mechanical processing and machine design. But there was one presentation that really stood out for me and is what solidified my decision to follow through with mechanical engineering. It was a presentation by my then university supervisor and mentor on biomedical engineering and contrast enhanced ultrasound applications to image internal organs and identify tumours specifically in the liver. The acknowledgement of being able to link engineering to healthcare without having to be a doctor and impact patient care soon turned into my passion for ultrasound and I continue to complete my BSc in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering. After completing my Bachelor in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, I wanted to further continue my studies in Biomedical Ultrasound, so I started my MSc in the Biomedical Ultrasound Laboratory, working alongside great people, scientists and other engineers. I learned how to use an ultrasound scanner, further understand contrast enhanced ultrasound, which brings together two imaging tools, ultrasounds and contrast agents that are administered intravenously to a patient. The combination of these two techniques creates accurate detailed images of internal organs. Ultras and contrast agents rely on the different ways in which sound waves are reflected from interfaces between substances and can be used to image blood perfusion in organs, measure blood flow rates in the heart and other organs, identify and diagnose lesions and for other applications. I designed and manufactured experimental ultrasound probes, performed ultrasound experiments with tissue mimicking material and phantoms, worked with various quantification software, and participated in conferences and science days. University and studying engineering was one of the most exciting times in my engineering journey. Then followed graduation, where I graduated with a Master's in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering by Medical Ultrasound. By then, I knew I wanted to continue integrating myself into the healthcare environment. During my Master's, I also completed a placement at the Oncology Centre, observing planning and supervision of radiotherapy treatment. I observed the monitoring and calibration of medical equipment, such as X-ray, ultrasound, CT scanners, through routine follow-ups. I monitored the work of the ultrasound department, observed a range of imaging procedures, 
and conscious enhanced ultrasound scans as part of a clinical trial. I shadowed radiologists that were performing diagnostic ultrasound scans and reporting out CT scans and mammograms, thus obtaining an insight of reading medical images. As an engineer, I managed to obtain a great perspective of clinical applications. Following completion of my studies, I moved back to the UK and I completed a one-year placement at the Centre of Pharmacology and Therapeutics in the Division of Experimental Medicine at Hammersmith Hospital, where I had the opportunity to train on the use and set up of various ultrasound scanners, and I worked on a clinical trial using ultrasound and contrast agents as a biomarker for predicting early response in patients with liver cancer, where I actually had the opportunity to perform the patient ultrasound scanning and image quantification, as well as submitted an abstract with my colleagues to the European Congress of Radiology. During that year, I had the opportunity to work with a great team of radiologists, radiographers, oncologists, vascular surgeons, scientists and engineers. But for me, being part of a clinical trial and having the opportunity and honour to scan patients in order to support with their diagnosis and care has been one of the highlights of my career. Following completion of the placement at Hammersmith Hospital, I decided I wanted to move to industry and then I joined the imaging technology team at GE Healthcare as part of the research and development department as an ultrasound specialist. So instead of performing the actual patient scans as I did at the hospital, my role included performing the image quality review of ultrasound liver images using Sonozoid, which is one of G's contrast agents, as well as Sonoview, that were obtained as part of a clinical trial conducted in China. I supported my team with providing feedback, both technical and scientific, to key study manuals. I also provided feedback to hospitals on um, setting up their ultrasound scanners as well as giving them guidance on how to optimise their image quality. Because optimised image quality is crucial to allow radiologists and other clinicians to perform a more accurate patient diagnostic assessment. Also, I have had the opportunity to learn about software development and validation and build knowledge on project management as well as gain expertise on medical imaging processing. I then moved into the role of lead ultrasound specialist, where I was responsible for all image related aspects to launching G's ultrasound contrast agent Sonozoid in Taiwan. I was responsible for training material for doctors to train an application specialist. My role has allowed me to travel to some amazing places like Taiwan over the years and meet and work with incredible teams and people. During this time, I have had the opportunity to travel to China and participate on behalf of Qi Healthcare in a product inspection led by the Chinese authorities, which has led to the authorization and use of Sonozoid in China. This has been an example of hardworking individuals and teams from various cultures and scientific, clinical and technical backgrounds coming together to achieve a common goal, better patient care. Moving forward, I moved into the role of Manager of Imaging Operations, which was a line manager role for all operational resources in imaging technology that are supporting the development of new imaging contrast agents for CT, MRI and ultrasound and molecular imaging tracers for PET and SPECT through all phases of development. I led a team of imaging professionals that support all projects in the GE Healthcare Pharmaceutical Diagnostics Pipeline. We were responsible for the development, implementation and optimization of image quality procedures that provide efficiencies in all development activities and reduce turnaround timelines. Did I have any management experience when I took the role? No. I actually remember texting my manager that was leaving from that role and said, I want to give your role a try because I believe if you don't ask, you don't get, and it's important to have the confidence to take risks because you never know where that journey will take you. I did have alongside me a great supporting system, not just for my development and my career, but also a team of people that at that point, I was younger than most of them, 
and less experience, but I learned how to adapt, to care for my team and guide them through their own development and completion of business milestones. The most fun part of being a manager is not just financial reports and optimizing processes, but being able to see your team develop and know that you have been part of their journey. Travelling didn't stop for me as I moved into a management role, nor did I lose my expertise on ultrasound as I gained knowledge on other imaging modalities. I still had the opportunity to travel to exciting places such as Spain to set up ultrasound scanners as part of clinical trials. And these ultrasound scanners weren't necessarily G healthcare scanners, they may have belonged to competitor companies as well. In my current role as Head of Imaging Technology, I continue to be in a management role. Think of my role as being responsible of an entire command centre. My command centre is the Imaging Technology Department in which I started my journey at GE as an ultrasound specialist. I lead not only a team of technical and scientific expertise that define the imaging strategy for the GE Healthcare Pharmaceutical Diagnostics clinical trials for all imaging modalities, but also the operational resources that execute on the imaging strategy. I am part of an amazing team that is like a second family across the UK, USA and China. A team that works on clinical trials, software validation and development, IT infrastructure, image processing and image quality control, blinded image evaluations, and is a team that values quality and compliance to the highest degree. Management has taught me patience, empathy and leadership, and engineering has taught me there is more than one way of doing things. I'm also part of the research and development leadership team and my leadership focuses on culture and career development. Boston has been one of my favourite places to visit, not only because half of my team is there and also they have amazing pastries, but because the passion of the people for healthcare and doing what is right is inspiring. A big part of my journey has been impacted on having the opportunity to attend leadership and technical training programs at G's Crotonville Business Centre, which extends to various locations around the world. This has helped me connect with people from other parts of G, from aviation to power, and grow my knowledge of the business. Last year, I was in Chicago attending the biggest radiology conference as part of the Radiological Society of North America, where I got to see not only G Healthcare scanners, products and applications being showcased, but also equipment from other companies, as well as attend lectures alongside medical professionals on topics of oncology, radiology, machine learning, amongst others. As an engineer and as a female in engineering, it is important to me to be able to share my journey, inspire and be inspired. So I am a STEM ambassador for GE Healthcare, currently leading the Girls Get Set program from the Amersham area in the UK that focuses on introducing girls to STEM activities, supporting them with activities such as interview skills, as well as linking the school syllabus to real life applications across the GE businesses. Always remember that you are capable of more than you think and be brave to ask questions and take opportunities. G Healthcare's mission is to improve lives in the moments that matter. Hence, we had to be present to support the NHS to navigate through COVID-19. Globally, in addition to G Healthcare's partnership with Ford to scale ventilator production, the G Healthcare Command Centre team has now introduced infectious disease and critical resource tiles. These digital applications are being used by clinicians, including in the UK, to actively manage patient capacity and resources both at the hospital and health system level. In the UK, we have supplied a number of products to the 4,000 bed Nightingale Hospital that opened at the Excel Centre in London. Ventilators were configured at GE healthcare facilities and CT scanners, X-rays and ultrasound systems were also supplied. As well as in Nightingale London, we actively worked with the NHS to establish Nightingale Harrogate, Manchester and Birmingham.
GE Healthcare has partnered with both GE Aviation and GE Power in the UK to manage the large increase in equipment volume to support configuration and distribution of these systems. We are working extensively with the government and NHS supply chain to facilitate the delivery of medical equipment to hospitals across the country. The GE Power conversion site in Rugby was converted into a staging area for GE Healthcare ultrasound systems needed in intensive care units. These were configured in Rugby for clinical use before being transported to the Nightingale hospitals and other NHS hospitals. The Power Conversion Rugby facility was cleared of the automation testing equipment that usually fills the space and deep cleaned. The images show the planned location of the ultrasound production where the team had 100 ultrasound systems going through the facility. G Aviation in Cheltenham also adapted its factory space. A joint GE Healthcare and GE Aviation project team of technicians and engineers worked together to assemble over 300 GE Healthcare Carescape monitoring systems a week within the Aviation Power System facility to receive units which were then shipped to hospitals around the UK and used to monitor patients' vital signs that are critical in determining their course of treatment. We were also able to help with the call of PPE, which is personal protective equipment for NHS staff. IG Healthcare team at the Growth Centre in Amersham was able to deliver 2,000 items of PPE, including surgical gloves and microfiber clean room garments, uh, to various hospitals um, across the country. It's been great to share my engineering journey with you.